Hi guys, it is Tuesday, February 18th. You picked Clue Finders. Let's play. I tried this one out. This will be so much better <laughs> uh, mouse moving and sound wise than Harry Potter was. Except for this one. Hello, Anthony! The festival has begun. The time has come for the presentation of our treasures. The treasures are gone, and you know who took them. Who could have done such a thing? The rumors are true. Look, the Yeti has returned, and it has stolen the treasures. Here is your proof. One giant footprint in the snow is hardly proof. No, not all is as it appears. There are many footprints in the snow, and there is great confusion in our village. But no one can fight the Yeti. It is hopeless. A great mystery, yes, but hopeless, no. Perhaps it is time we summoned my young friends from the West. Perhaps it is time we called the Clue Finders. All right. So, you want to know what happens next? Well, okay. But before you go on, you need to sign your... We'll just make this one. Just for new, because I tried it out to make sure that it would work. I wish there was a way to delete. If you want to check how many clues are left at any location, just look on the map. The number of stars left at the location equals the number of clues still waiting to be found. This is our little computer friend. Um, all the fun stuff. And then this is the cube. And then every time we solve a math problem in all of the rooms, uh, the clues we collect will appear here and we have to eliminate people till we figure out who took what object from where. So it's like clue, essentially. Return to you. So let's go to the clock shop. And I'm gonna make them walk faster. You know, this place looks vaguely familiar. More visions from the past, eh, Lap Trap? Oh, it's the famous detectives, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if I'd put it that way. I could really use your help. Please help me fill in the line graph with the data from the chart. Place the green buttons to show how many spools of red thread I used for... Okay. It's right. so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, Happens. She opens up for us to go to the next room. Whoa! The Did you guys see that? All right. So we need the yak herder, the photographer, the shopkeeper, and the guide. Move. All right. Okay, I don't think there are any more clues. Also, only one of you put a thing in the comments. Shame, shame. Come on, I want you. I want lots of you voting hey, for the next one. Hey, this looks like a library. Do I need to whisper in here? This. Sure, sure, I don't care. All right, and let's start. Here we go.
Well, if you need to take a closer look at the suspect. Well, you two are out, so I'm assuming that leaves the two men. Let's hit the trail. Nope. All right. We're skipping past all this. Let's go to the stable. Fifty water. It smells like a barn in here. Great. Okay. The goal is to use the. That leaves the air herder. All right. Well, we know he took it. Okay. I don't think they're. Oh no. Etc. They talk a lot. It's just. It makes you twitch. Alright, start puzzle. So you just make equations with the blocks you use the, um, the arrow keys, I don't think. Yeah, you can't use WSD. Isn't this game fun? It get obviously, it gets harder as you... Every time you complete one, you go up a level and it gets harder and harder until you finally unlock all of them and you can go and defeat the Yeti. I've never actually beaten this game, because um, I got this game when I was about 10 and I already knew how to do this kind of Keep thing. Keep going! Kind of You're on a roll! Hey! The We're getting pretty good at it! Okay, so... Bowl and tapestry. Those are the only ones that I see with flowers. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Oh, there's the act herder. I know you took it. I don't Hello? know what you took or where it's hiding, but I know you took ah, it. Ah, good day, my young friend. Right, so now I have we have to make fencing for the axe. Very oh. good. The object is round. Well, that eliminates you. So let's I know you the took trail. a ball, but I don't know where you put it yet. I wonder what's happening. Okay, so these, they get together in groups of three or more. In this one, you'll have leftovers, but it's a okay. Should do it. Congratulations. All right, the location is outdoors. Okay. Well, I never know if that includes caves or not, so we're going to go like this, and we're going to get rid of these, because these are all actually in inside. Okay, I... Alright, let's go. Go out, and now we go to the store. The writer uses three notepads per week to show how many she'll need for four weeks. green grass at the location. Okay, you have no green grass, you have green grass, and you have green grass, so... We move. Okay, I don't... Alright, now the fun one. Move the mouse to keep the ball moving. Being the correct answer to the problem, after you knock, move the mouse to keep the ball moving. Three plus one equals what? So this is a thing. This is the longest one. And you have to not hit any of the other equations. Any of the other numbers. Out. This. Oh, wait, you're supposed to come. Three plus one equals four. Oh, 
Start again. This one takes so long. Five plus one equals six. Four plus ten equals what? Four plus ten equals. 14. 10 plus 6 equals what? 10 plus 6 equals 16. 6 plus 5 equals what? Five equals. Let it go, and it actually Thank faster. Blah blah. Ice or snow cannot be seen from this location. Well, here we go. Accuse. Our evidence indicates that the yak herder took the golden bowl and hid it in the rock cave. I got it! I got it! I got it! I found this special object on the street, and I simply wanted to protect it. Uh, you may have it, of course. Well done. We were right to call you for help. Let us return our treasure to its proper place. Good work, my young friends. I hope this is just the first and you will be able to help us recover the rest of our treasures. This bowl holds a bit of the harvest each year. Each year, we are thankful to be able to fill it. Okay, Santiago, let's go find another one. Well, at least all this running around will help keep us warm. All right, and then we go back and start again. And that's how glue binders work, so that was fun. Um, I played this game, I, the math was easy for me, I never had issues with the puzzles, uh, which is probably why I never finished it, because I found it super easy. Um, but it's good for nostalgia and killing time, because the games, while simple, can be kind of a time sink because of how slow they are. So, we will close the game. Yes, I'm sure. And yeah, so that's this week's guys, or today's I should say, haha, -ha, I'm smart. Okay, so that was Clue Finders. So that is done. And I changed my mind, I'm not, if you don't pick it, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it get played. Um, so your options for tomorrow. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PC game, cause I love Harry Potter or uh, Math for the Real World. This is another math game. Um, and this one is not as commonly known. It wasn't made by the learning company. Um, so it didn't get the pub the publicity that like the clue finders or sh super solvers stuff did. Um, or Amazon trailer, Oregon trail. So these, where are we here? Ah, okay, these are your two options. So in comments down below, you can put Harry Potter or you can put math and I will check it in the morning and whoever gets Whoever has, whichever one has the most votes or most comments will be the one that I play tomorrow. So please, come on guys, there were like 13 views yesterday. I had one comment. Shame. 
So put comments down. I don't care if you know me in real life. Still comment because you can laugh at my commentary or whatever. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined.